Nowhere in particular, just going on a walk. What about you? Where were you going? I just wanted to get a look at the desert terrain we were going to be headed into next. It's good to be prepared. So how was it? It was hot. Well, I assumed as much. But it wasn't as hot as I thought it'd be. Hmm. Well, okay. But what I wanted to know was if Pharaoh is out there. Right. That'd be nice. Oh well. I guess we couldn't expect him to be that easy to find. <sighs> what? You want to go out and check for yourself? No, that's okay. If we head out to look for him, we should do it together. Oh, I see. I wouldn't think the knights would bother coming all the way out to a border town like this. More power to them if they're really here to defend the public order or whatever, but something tells me there's more to it than that. face. Is the desert really as dangerous as they say? I don't think Rita would joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess not. I've dragged all of you all the way out here. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we feel like doing. But what about you? What do you want to do? M me? You were saying that you need to figure out who you are, weren't you? Yes, that's true, but... Estelle, you're Brave Vesperia's client. If you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go there. And if you tell us to go for you, we'll find Pharaoh and drag him back here. Yuri... Then I... There's no need to rush to give me an answer. Take your time. <sighs> still here? What? Were you feeling lonely and came to find me? Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around here because you're the one who's lonely and wanted to see me? You got me. Now marry me. I'll consider it when you're an adult. Ah, there you are. Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance of hers. He's my husband. Well, whatever. I got the info about the Maristella that you wanted. I appreciate that. But first, is it true that you're Eifried's granddaughter? Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Is it true? Hmm. So it is true. If that's the case, then I can't give this to you. If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no one will trust me. Eifried is... I don't know about you. But for those of us who live in the world of the guilds, Eifried is the most unforgivable guy out there. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around claiming to be one of his relatives. So don't you show your face in front of any of us ever again. <sighs> and if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of resentment, we're not gonna take it lying down. I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild. But I'd never do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case, the blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your veins. I can't even begin to guess what's running through your head. <sighs> and as for you, 
I don't know if you're really her husband, but I'd suggest steering clear of this one. So you just take it all in silence, huh? I just don't know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually happened in that massacre. I don't know what's true and what's a lie, whether he was a villain or a saint. All I know is that my grandfather was very important to me. That is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are yourself, huh? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things about my grandfather. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I'll just keep searching for treasure in my own way. You're putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. What good would crying get me? You see, my motto is, no matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't worry. I've got clues. Later! open that without a key. I know. Are you really going to return it? Yes, I am. You got a... Nope. You saw what happened in Nordopolica. This thing made it so I couldn't control my magic. The clear CL crystal inside this box interferes with air somehow. Interferes with air? How could a tiny box like this do something like that? I don't know. That's why I wish I could open this box somehow. There's a good chance that we'd be able to find a key for the box in Jormgen. For me, this doesn't have anything to do with Estelle wanting to return it anymore. So then you're going to look for the town of Jormgen that was mentioned in that diary? Yes, if I can. If you can? I can't leave Estelle behind. Sure you can, if you want to. I'd like to leave her behind, but I can't. <clears throat> I've never had a problem like this before. Why? She couldn't be serious about going alone into the desert, could she? secretly selling weapons, and that they were smuggling them illegally out of ruins. Sometimes you have to have shadow where there's light, I guess. That's so sad, though. Oh, you don't need to worry about those guys. Just keep living your life the way you know is right, and lead brave Vesperia to victory with pride. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we need to worry about Pharaoh for now. Yeah, we finally made it into the desert. It feels like we're almost there. Hey, once we're done with this commission, you think we could go back to Dongress for a bit? Hmm. Well, let's wait until we've wrapped up our current job to talk about that. Oh, yeah, sure.
Carol, this is for you. Huh? What's going on, Estelle? What's this? This is payment for your services. I'm sure you'll be able to sell it for quite a sum. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. Huh? What do you mean? You haven't found what you're looking for yet. I'm afraid I must take my leave from you here. Take your leave? What are you gonna do? You're not thinking of going alone, are you? My desire to meet Pharaoh is a personal one. Are you crazy? That's way too dangerous! Which is why I must go alone. I won't have the rest of you caught up any further in my own selfish quest. Do justice and punish the unjust. Huh? Oh, right. That's one of the laws of our guild. There's no justice in letting Estelle march into the heart of the desert all by herself. I don't think I have it in me to break our laws. How about you, Carol? Right! It seems those are the rules. I'm terribly flattered, really, but I'm afraid I can't let you. Estelle, wait! Have you all lost your marbles? We're talking about a force of nature here. Which is why we're all going together. I'll admit I'm a little scared, but I can't just let Estelle go off like that. You! You talk some sense into them! If I start whining now, I'll have to go all the way back to Nordopolica by myself, right? That's no fun. Ooh, there's no reasoning with any of you. Are you sure you're dead set on this? Yes, I've thought a lot about this. You all have something that's important to you. A goal you give everything to achieve. I realized that I didn't have anything like that for myself. And I knew I had to find a purpose of my own, something I can dedicate myself to. I made the decision to begin this journey, and I have to finish what I've started. This... this is something I have to do for myself. Okay, okay, you win. So we'll be aiming for the desert center. Huh? Hey, I tried talking sense into you idiots. Rita... There's actually no real need for you to come, Rita. You've got your air credit research to worry about, don't you? There's no telling what you idiots will get into if I don't keep an eye on you. The air crane isn't going anywhere. I'll go check up on it later. But we're not leaving until we've taken care of all our preparations. I'm sorry to be such an inconvenience to you all. I think we had a pretty good idea things would turn out like this from the start. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Where's Judith? Everything settled? Yeah. Well, what did you decide? We're going to the center of the desert. I had a feeling, so I've made some arrangements. The innkeeper has agreed to help us. We'll want to be good and rested before we leave this town behind, that's for sure. You're always thinking about your next nap, aren't you? Yeah, but I sleep so much better if I have a little company. I wonder what Pharaoh will do. Oh, my heart! Whoa, whoa, are you okay, old man? It's just, the sound of money gets this old heart racing. Stop that jingling, would you, Carol? Huh? All right, whatever. I can't believe how much gold we have! I bet it would feel great to spend all this gold at once. No way! We still need to save lots more! Ah, sounds like you've got plans for the future, kid. Saving for a hideout for Brave Vesperia? No, I wasn't thinking of that. It's just that saving lots of money feels... good, you know? You know what they call that, kid? Penny pinching. That's what. There's no use hoarding your money for later. You gotta spend it all at once. Go wild! No, no, that's even worse. You kids have got no sense of moderation. All right, old man, then what do you think we should do with it? Just invest it in Old Raven. My secret guild knowledge will give you back a hundred times as much. Pass.
Can we stay the night here? Hello. Welcome to the Desert Oasis Mantake. What's with this night? Well, um... <sighs> will... will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town to gather provisions and get some rest first. Oh, so it's you who wanted provisions for going into the desert. You know, it's... We know it's dangerous. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you set out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that... Have a nice day. This town kind of gives me the creeps. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to get some sleep. Sleepy times! But man, I just can't relax with the knight standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? Yeah, it does. If they're here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? All right, everyone. Let's get some sleep. Hmm. Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out into the desert, but it would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks. We've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Well, as I promised. Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. Right. If we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. I was so nervous. One lie after another. That was a supervisor. The knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. Why would they do something like that? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. I see. That's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. I wonder if there's a crooked magistrate here too. There was no magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordopolica of late. It seems they may have already gone into Arrest Bellius. The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are going to Arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale is there, but... <laughs> Thank you very much for your business. Wait! But... Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. This town's only on the edge of the desert, but the heat still got my head spinning. Youngsters these days got no stamina, I tell ya. <sighs> Whoa! No comeback from Rita. It's hot. It's so hot. I think she's so hot she didn't even hear him. Water. I think we're ready to go. Right. Stop it! Let go! Bad boys and girls that break curfew must be punished by the magistrate. 
No way! We're going to look for Mommy and Daddy! Leave these children to me. I'll see that they're properly disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger! Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the Magistrate on their behalf. Hey, wait, aren't you... My deepest apologies! Do you think that maybe I could have handled that better? Hey, it worked, didn't it? Thanks for saving us from those bad guys. What are your names? My name's Alf. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert in the Magistrate's big wagon. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. But what do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, hey, bro, are we gonna go look for Mommy and Daddy? No, you're not. If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. <sighs> Judith! We'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here, take this, cause you're so nice. A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, you're right. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. Yuri? What's the matter? I was just thinking about what the Magistrate here could be planning. It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. Though I guess it makes sense if the Empire wanted to eliminate a monster that was trying to kill the Princess. But they don't know that he's after Estelle yet, do they? So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in the town. Anyway, first we should go to the Sands of Kagor. Right. We can look into the mysteries of this town once we come back. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll keel over in this heat. That's true. So then, to get to the middle of the desert, we should go through here, right? Yes. I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way, too. All right. Let's go. There's no shade anywhere. I never imagined it would be this hot. Nobody'd last long out here without the proper supplies. What's with him? He looks like he's out for a walk in the park. Hey, old man. Aren't you hot? Hot? Uh, heck yeah. Uh, I'm sizzling over here. Uh, burning right up. That lousy. I feel like the temperature goes up every time somebody says the word hot. We'll be fine, so long as we remember to keep our water well stocked. Right, the cacti. The parents of those children are out there with no supplies whatsoever. We do have Pharaoh to look for, but... Yes. Would it be alright if we took care of Alf and Layla's request first? Um, but... You've more than fulfilled your obligation to me. Estelle! Okay then, let's find their parents. Was that Pharaoh? Then he really is somewhere in the desert. Settle down. You'll get plenty of attention once we're done helping those kids. 
We keep going and going, but all we get is more sand and more blue sky. You're doing better than me if you can look at the sky, Raven. The only thing I see is sand. How come an old fart like you has so much energy anyway? Talking's only gonna wear you out. If one of us goes down, it'd be about all we could manage to get them back to safety. And I, for one, am in no mood to be giving out piggyback rides. If I collapse, Raven, you can carry me. Sorry, but this back's reserved for ladies only. I'll die before I collapse. I won't let myself be a burden either. The same goes for me, of course. Hey, there's no reason to go stomping on an old man's feelings, is there? We'll destroy them in no time! The best defense is a good offense, or so I've read. Let's fill up our water here. But this is... Ow! Ow! What an idiot! Use your head a little! Looks like this situation calls for a little extra help. Canteen filling time. Me next! We need to make sure to keep hydrated. Right. We wouldn't want to get sunstroke. If everyone's finished, let's go. Better stop plodding along like a zombie, or you'll only make yourself more tired. How are you in such good spirits? Some people take pleasure in the suffering of others. Why, I oughta? Don't waste your energy. That sort of happiness simply isn't healthy. Hey, did you hear a voice? No, not at all. By the way, why were you in this desert before? I used to live in a town up in the mountains to the north of here, together with my friend Ba'ul. So, I sometimes came down near the desert. All the way to the desert? Anyway, we hardly have time to look for anything out here. What with this heat? Seriously, if we run out of water, we'll be goners. We need to find something like a... Yes. to me! Ha, ha, 
I'm just getting started. Finish that one. Gone soon enough. Destruct those hate! Oh, 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 This doesn't look good. Get ready for anything. Ha! 
think I'm in love. You'll just get burned. Oh, baby, I'm already charred to a crisp. That's what happens when I get serious.